Okay, so I've got the new valves in and they're seating nicely. You see that there's a little bit of a lip there, the same as there is for the exhaust. As I showed before, the old valves, basically what happened is they get worn at the seat. You see how the seat's all worn out on that, which is where it is shiny and silver. The valve's a soft titanium valve, and in a nutshell, it sits in there too far. You see how high up the one on the right is, and see how low down in there the other one is? And so that makes your valve gap tighter and tighter until you don't have any compression because uh, it'll be open slightly. That makes it really hard to start. That's why you have to adjust the valves on a dirt bike. When you do the kibble white valves, you can buy them on eBay for 36 bucks a piece. But the thing of it is, is you want to use, if you're going with a stainless steel valve, either the black diamond or white diamond is what they call it, they're coated with stuff uh, to help prevent wear. But stainless steel wears really slowly. It's a lot harder than titanium. Titanium is strong. It's incredibly light, but it's also very soft, as you can see here. Stainless steel is really hard. It lasts a lot longer. So if you're sick of getting your valves adjusted all the time, go with some stainless steel valves. You might sacrifice just a teeny bit in performance, but... Uh, in the long haul you'll have a lot less labor. It'll make a high maintenance bike like this, a low maintenance bike. Um, over time a lot of people have hard starting, the bike won't start because they won't have compression. That's because over time the valves, the trumpet part of the valve, it ba if you look at my kibble white valve installation video I'll show you in reality, it's not the best valve I've ever drawn. Let's try that again. Do, do, do. Maybe if I sing or do elevator music, I'll draw better. Who knows? So basically, your valve sits in a valve seat and it seals at this point right here. Well, what happens is over time on a CRF, they use titanium valves. Titanium sounds like a good idea, but it's not because titanium's really soft. And the trouble with it, it's maybe really light and really strong, but because it's soft, these valve seats wear out and the valve actually wears into there so say it used to be at this level over time it wears out and it goes up and these valve seats cause the valve to ride higher and then where you used to have your cam riding say this is your cam where it used to ride it gets right up into there and so then you don't have any compression so what do you do you get a smaller shim and that basically opens up the gap and the math will be reflected different if you're going to a smaller one or a bigger one if you look in the manual they say they do the math this way because they start with no shim in it and then work up to you know a bigger size and bigger size so they add what you want to do if you're having hard starting is you'll want to subtract you'll want to basically um, remove uh, size instead of having a, a great big size that you subtract from you want to take the difference or whatever whatever it takes to get it to 0.16 so let's put this to reality say my measurement was zero and I had no compression you go zero minus 1.6 uh, millimeter or 0.16 excuse me you gotta get that right so you take that measurement and so you're at a negative uh, value so say this is the spacer that I had in there, the shim I had in there, say it was a 1.65 and I had zero as a measurement, I couldn't get a feeler gauge under there, you'd basically take that and subtract from it the 1.6.